It is the continued hearing on the 2024 to 2026 medium term expenditure framework and fiscal strategy paper by the House Committee on Finance. The Industrial Training Fund is before the committee as lawmakers query missing funds. So, your capital expenditure here was uh, 1.4. Yes, sir. Audited report is say 4.115, and your own is say 1.4. You will be forced to refund that money. So tomorrow, tomorrow is a Tuesday. You have to come back to us and tell us where that money is. All right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Similar to this is the Nigerian Communications Commission, uh, as the committee queries how the commission uh, spent 291 uh, billion naira in 2022. There was a a broadband fund, fund for broadband deployment, about 41 billion. That was also broadband. Added. Yes, sir. It's for, the, for the service providers. No, it's for provision of broadband services in public uh, places, airports, markets, and so on. And so on. Markets. Which markets is enjoying that broadband? Uh, the commission will be able to give you details, sir. Huh? The commission will be able to give details. Which commission? NCC, sir, will be able to provide. Details. I'm asking you. It's ongoing, sir. The projects are ongoing. Ah. Yes, the projects are ongoing, sir. It is my application, Mr. Chairman, I so move that uh, NCC furnish further records on the application of the, uh, uh, the remaining 291 uh, billion. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission also appears before the committee as lawmakers express concern over a company licensed by the agency to procure meters, despite what appears to be a lack of capacity. Yes, the glasses has a, a map permit. Yes, it has a map permit. Yes, and are you aware that the glasses got 39 billion from power, from Ministry of Power to supply meter? Are you aware? Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm aware. Uh, so for yes. how many? For how many meters? Honestly, I can't remember exactly. How oh, many has, yeah. has the company supplied? The details of the contract, um, uh, Mr. Chair, is um, actually between Ziglasses and the Ministry of Power, and we are not really... Yeah, you are the regulator. <laughs> because without that permit, that wouldn't have been funded. By Thursday, you come here with the management of Ziglas and all the documents regarding this 39 billion. The Finance Committee is focusing on ensuring that the country only borrows when necessary as it moves to ensure that revenue generated is remitted and government agencies who do not generate revenue do not get to expend so much on personal costs. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.